Hey, welcome back to Gundamentals. Some of you may recall in the video where I'm talking about my AR-15 how I would put a Ziploc bag over my aim point here so I could keep the flaps, mainly the front flap here, open yet still be able to use the iron sights with it without having to worry about dust and whatnot getting on the glass itself. And I got to thinking, why on earth does Aimpoint put a solid cover on the front here when they have a clear one on the back? Now when you actually power it up, let me see if I can get a uh, good, when you actually power it up here, you can actually use both eyes and it gives you sort of a virtual sense of the dot even though the um, front thing is closed, you can still actually uh, get on target with it closed, but you still can't see through it with the iron sights. So I dug around a little bit, and I happened to find this on Brownells. This is a clear front cover for this thing that flips up. It's the same form factor. This will fit on any of the standard size aim points here. So I'm going to throw that on here and we're going to see how that works. The first thing we need to do is take the old one off. Um, this is just rubber around here. You can see the old one and the new one. They're the same, same form factor. So let's take the old one off here. It should just pop right off. Okay, I see. Now it's not actually screwing on or off, I'm just twisting it to get the uh, get the momentum and the right leverage here on it. Okay, for the most part that came off pretty easily. You can see it's got this uh, little ridge right in there. And I would imagine that this little ridge part here catches in there and that's uh, that's what sort of holds it in place is what I'm guessing. So let's throw the new one on. Again, it's not screwing on. I'm just sort of twisting to get that leverage going. Okay. It's going on. It's a little tight. This rubber is definitely tighter, but you can see how I was able to get it into the ridge there. And I think this is on. I would say this is on pretty good. So there we go. There's a clear part there, and um, you can see right through it. This uh, is a little damaged on the back there. Not damaged, but a little scratched up. Um, but yeah, you can see right through it. So now you can leave these covers on. You can still see through it and use your iron sights. Um, you know, you're tromping through the through the mud, or um, if it's raining really hard and you don't want to expose your glass. Now you just have this uh, cheap little plastic cover here, and it goes across there. So now you can see through it without worrying about scratching the glass up. Now the only reason I can imagine that Aimpoint does not provide the clear one with it from the start is so they can turn around and sell us this other one for $19. So that's a good tip for uh, fellow Aimpoint users out there. Go ahead and um, check out some of the other videos here on Gundamentals. Uh, maybe something else will help you. Maybe you have better ideas for some of the things I'm doing. Uh, go ahead and subscribe and uh, see you later.